Anyway, I added this song because I thought it was great and I thought it went well with the video. Eminem, Doctor Who, can't go wrong. This is a review of the fifth Doctor, Peter Davison, as requested by Optimus212100. Uh, this is the first release of this figure. I know it's been released again at least one more time anyway, in the Time Crash set. Um, and this figure actually has a bit of celery on his lapel, which, you know, he had in the, in the episode. It's not quite sure what this one hasn't, but there we go. Um, anyway, this figure is great. The details you can see is very good. You can uh, you know, pretty much see what's going on here. Uh, the legs move quite freely. Pretty good. They bend there. Um, pretty cool. Um, the arms rotate all the way around, up, down, you know, both of them do the same. The head doesn't want to do much turning, I mean, that's about it, unless you want to snap it. <laughs> have a head and a stop there. Um, he doesn't quite manage to sit down, I mean, this is as far as my one goes, you can see it's not quite, you know, sitting down, but he does stand up pretty well on his own, um, unlike the Sontarans, who, they just don't stand up, they just fall down, so that ain't so cool, but obviously this figure is great for standing up and showing. Um, so the packaging, um, this is the packaging and what it looks like when you get it, if you buy it in a box. <laughs> um, great attention to detail, I mean obviously you know, all the basic stuff's on there, a bit of information about the uh, Doctor and all the sets and all that that you can get. Um, I bought two of these figures, as you can see, obviously. Um, keep one in this box and to have one, you know, on the show. Um, that sort of thing. Oh, my bad. Um, the figure also includes a sonic screwdriver, which we have here. Quite small, but the detail is still pretty good and it actually does stay in his hand which helps a lot, you know, um, so that looks pretty cool like that I reckon. Um, also comes with an arm for the K1 robot which we have here. Um, it's quite bendy, I don't know if it should be, but you know, I haven't actually completed the K1 robot yet, but nearly have, so one day I'll be able to uh, maybe review the whole the whole figure in itself, but I think it's, it's pretty cool to see. Anyway, um, the detail, you know, it's pretty good. 10 out of 10 really for everything about this figure really. Um, this figure isn't as rare as the 4th and the 6th Doctor. Don't know why. Um, if you do know why then tell me because I'm interested to find out why this guy isn't as famous or <laughs> you know. <laughs> this um, figure cost about £10. I mean you could probably pick up maybe a bit cheaper or a bit more expensive but around about £10. Um, which is a good price. I mean you can see what you get. It's pretty cool. Pretty good. Um, in comparison to other figures in the series, you've got, you know, the Zygon or the Sea Devil. It stands up pretty well, I mean, it looks... They all look pretty good together, I think. Just, you know, I am running out of space here. Um, <laughs> little man here as well, doesn't really, a bit short. Um, yep, yeah. and with the Cybermen, again, pretty good. I mean, the Cyberman is taller, but I think he's supposed to be, so... That's cool. Um, the tenth Doctor, you know, he's a little bit taller than the tenth Doctor, but he probably is in real life, so it's it's pretty good. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed my review. Um, if there's anything else anybody else would like me to review, prefer be something they've got, <laughs> um, I'll gladly do so. Um, and until next time, stay safe. See ya.